the YouTube, Kyle from Deep Park Life, and we're here with Andrew Wiggins and Interstellar Gaming. Yep. What'd you do today? I got top eight. I got eighth place at the Detroit Regional, and I was playing Snake Eye Cash Tierra. So it's a pretty standard list. We can go this through this really fast. Uh, I'm just gonna try to make this the quickest deck profile ever. Uh, I don't really need to explain very much. Uh, I'll just explain what cards are like good and what came up and whatnot. Ash is good. Oak or Populous is good. Oak is good. Uh, double Flamberge for the Hope Harbinger combo, and um, just because it, it's a really good card. Um, Snake Eyes Eye of Elstar. This card was really good all day. It loops resources. It lets you make Hope Harbinger, which honestly, I never got to negate a spell with it because either they scooped or they impermed it, but it took it away from my Appalooza, which mattered in a lot of games. Um, and then resetting a link in my extra deck uh, to summon off Temple was really good. So. I really like all that. That was all the main deck Snake Eye cards, and then you play three Diabell Stars because more starters. Um, and then you play Hand Traps, so you play uh, three Valor, three Ash, three Mourner, three Ogre, three Imperm. I played a lot of weird decks today that uh, Mourner wasn't like the greatest against, but Ogre are like overperformed. I played against Flunder, and I popped their uh, Field Spell to stop me from dying um, in two of the games, and oh. Playing Ogre is the only reason I won that matchup. So other than that, the hand traps are just very good. I did not draw them in pairs very much, um, but the cash tier cards really made up for that. Um, so I play two Fenrir, uh, one Unicorn, and then for the rest of it, it is uh, two planets, one birth, and then I played a Terraforming just because I played those, but Terraforming did search Temple a lot of the time as well. Uh, I played two Fenrirs, a lot of people only play one um, there's a lot of bricks in my deck that I didn't want to draw, so I went into 43. And playing the second Fenrir was actually just really good. Um, breaking boards and whatnot. Uh, it's just, it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent. So, and then going Fenrir, they uh, princess it, and then going Unicorn to get back the Fenrirs. It wins you games. So, gotta play those cards. Uh, Wanted's good. Bonfire's good. Original, Temple, one for one. Uh, I don't really have to explain any of those. It's 43 cards in the main deck. Uh, main deck was really good. I don't think I would change it if I go forward with playing this deck. Uh, Interstellar tokens for my Draco sack. And then Lynx uh, with Anna, uh, Dark, Hida, Nightmare Phoenix. I made co a lot. It was good. SP is good. Uh, IP Masquerina is good. Uh, Pit Knight Early was the card a lot of people don't play, but I would honestly suggest doing it. Uh, you can make this pretty earlier in your combo if you're doing the Draco sack line. Um, and you can place it back off with uh, the uh, Snake Eyes Dia Bell Star, and then uh, you can temple it out and have it pointing your uh, Flame Burge, and then your Flame Burge becomes a monster in the gate. Uh, that zeroes the attack. So it was really good. And the other thing is you can use your Princess to pop this, and then it'll come back in the end phase, because whenever it's destroyed, um, it comes back in the end phase. So very good. Uh, Princess is good. Uh, Selene is good. Made Access Code, made Appalooza. Uh, it's consistent. Uh, Axis Code was very good today. I had killed a lot of opponents. Uh, Zelantis is good with the Raging Phoenix and the Appalooza. Uh, and then for the two XYZs, I played Hope Harbinger, which is part of the uh, com or the Hope Harbinger combo, which puts a spell negate, so you're not auto losing to like a change of heart or a triple tactics. And then I played a Draco Sack because it lets you make uh, Appalooza uh, before you have to summon Ash uh, with the uh, Cash Terror cards and the Diabell Star. So it's basically what Melodious did, um, but you're playing less bricks and your cards are just better like on their own. So going to the side deck, uh, DD Crows, I sided in a lot, um, but I never drew it. Um, this is, these cards are single-handedly the reason I won my, uh, my lab matchup today. Um, I just drew them and then I wiped the board. Uh, Curry Car was actually just really broken. Uh, I attributed uh, Fenrir's, uh, Lady Labyrinths, um, this card does a lot, um, and I, I think I'm always gonna play it, um, it's just searchable and then, like, just kills people out of nowhere, especially if you have, like, Ash and, like, Bonfire, you can search this, clear their board, and then just get the popular, uh, this heals conflicted a lot today, I'm not sure if I'd go forward using them, I think it would just be, like, a third pro, and, like, something else, um, but I mean, they're they're good cards in theory. I just, every time I drew them, they weren't great. Uh, Droplets was great though. Every time I drew it and resolved it, great card. Gonna continue playing this. 
It's a card I don't think I can play in the Melodious version, which is why I played the Cashier version, because I love this card. Uh, and then you got three Deer Barrier. I played against one Tempai, and I didn't draw it, and I, that was my loss. Uh, so I got cleaned. That was the winner. You'll see his deck profile later on. Uh, and then lastly was this thing. Uh, it was also for Tempai, uh, but also any deck that plays Shifter that can kill me, like Cash Tira. Uh, if they Shifter me and I have to like just do this and pass, if I can get back to my turn with a lot of resources, I feel like I'm in a good position a lot of times. So, but yeah. Overall, the deck was great. Shout I, out. I shout out to Team Interstellar. Uh, great, uh, Pat, Jake, uh, Nana for coming with me and not bailing like the other two, no names. Uh, <laughs> nah. Um, and then uh, shout out to Piper Life for doing another deck profile. So they're a local uh, other team in the area, so they're great. So other than that, uh, I'm just happy I finally beat the bubble. I've gone top 16 in the last like three, yeah! Woo! three regionals I went to. So last one was ninth, and this one I got eighth. So I'll take it. So thank you for watching. Uh, that was like, it. like, comment, subscribe.